hello guys and welcome back to another video in the netflix series and in this one we're going to go ahead and start working with the create view so in this one we're going to allow users um when the sign in and let's say you are, you are signing in as deskfix as gmail.com and you log in so we're going to allow a user um to add a new profile from the front end so if you followed up from the last video how we do it is come over to the back end and manually add a user to and manually add a profile to a user so that's how we do it that's how we've been doing it from the last videos and other ones well in this one we're gonna um make this parsing over here functional so let's go ahead and start working with that now what we need to do is head back to our views.py and let's just copy this over here and put it down here just like that but we're going to change this one to profile create just like that so this profile create it stays in view we added method decorators and all that we define this get and all this over here so all this the next thing we want to do is just below this get over here we want to call form but okay let, let's just say i'm going to get rid of this profile and we have a blank place over here like this now what we want to do is create a form so if you've been following up from my other django tutorials you'd know that we usually create forms whenever we want to work with a create view or something like that so what we need to do is head over to the netflix app we're going to right click and click on new file so over here we're going to say um, create a new file that's come that's called forms.py so with this now we want to import um forms from django.form so we're going to say from django.forms we want to import import model form just like that and the next thing we're going to do is from dot models we're going to import profile so or from netflix app dot models we want to import profile you remember you created that in the models.py so now what we need to do is define a profile form or you call it a profile create form whatever then we're going to inherit from the model form that we imported over here but i think that's an uppercase model so model form okay and make sure you add a column at the back so with this now we're going to define a class meta that's going to allow us um put in the model that we want to interact with so we want to interact with the profile model that we imported above and what we want to do is exclude the field so take note when you are excluding a field that means um that means you you need the other you need the other fields that we defined but you don't need one particular field so you know the the, the usual way of doing this is just adding fields then over here we're going to call the fields that we want for example we need we need the field name sorry that's not supposed to be like that so we need the field name we need the field age limits and all that so you know that's how we usually do it but now what you want to do is rather we want to exclude a field so in the models in the profile let's look for it so we have the name we have the age limit and we have the uuid so we want to exclude the uuid field now back to the forms.py we're gonna get rid of all this and leave the exclude so we want to exclude the uuid field just like that so after this we are done working with the form now what you want to do is head back to the views.py so in the views.py um we simply want to come over here and call the forms that we that we just created but before that let's make sure that we are importing the form so we're going to say from from dot forms import profile form just like that so over here now we're going to say form should be equal to profile form just like that and that's for the get so form is profile form and we want to pass in this over here so we'll pass in return sorry this is supposed to be profile form then we'll pass in a render return render um this should be create i think it should be profile create the html there is no context get rid of the context oh yeah let's say we want to add in a context but this one is going to be form okay this one over here is going to be form which is this form that we defined above over there so we're going to say form let's see if we are missing anything okay we don't i don't think we are missing anything let's copy this um put it in there okay so with this now we defined a get and we got form um we defined a, a variable form we passed it into the profile form that we defined then we passed it through a context to the templates just like that now we need this exact same thing but in this case we need it to be a post so we need to say define post instead 
and this post is going to take in exactly the same thing that this other one is taking so don't worry you guys are still going to understand what we're doing so it took in self request acts and keyword acts and we also need this form so what we need to say here is form should be equal to profile profile form now in here we simply want to request dot post so what does this mean this simply means that in the form over here oh we don't have any form yet so but this simply means that in the form that we're going to be rendering we want to get everything that's passed into the form for example when a user want to create a profile they add in their age limits they add in their name so request dot post is going to request for for the informations that the user has passed into the post now we're gonna has passed into the form rather now we're gonna use those information that we are getting with this request.post to do some other things so it's quite simple let's also say request.post or none so if the user passed in nothing in there so what we're gonna do is simply check if the form is valid so if the form is valid now what we want to do we simply Firstly, let's say we want to print form that clean data. Um, yeah, let's just print form that clean data. Let's see what's gonna happen. Print form that cleaned data. Okay, just like that. From that clean data. Now we need to pass in this return render request blah blah blah, and we want to make sure that it's it's exactly like this. We're gonna copy that one and we're gonna pass it in here okay so you need to make sure you add a column at the back so everything works fine from there so the, the next thing we're going to do is simply go ahead and try creating a form so but right now we do not have any form yet that we're going to create so that's where the problem is going to come in that's why this print over here is isn't going to work so what we need to do is quite easy we need to get rid of this so if the form is valid we simply want to do something and that's simply calling profile should be equal to profile dot objects dot create so i'm going to explain what's going on here so if the form is valid which means that the past in the right information that's supposed to be in the form then what you want to do is simply go ahead and create the form for them so we're going to say profile dot objects dot create then in here what we want to pass in is um, double star then we're gonna pass in form dot cleaned data so this is simply gonna get in everything that's the pass into the form and use it to create a new object for them so if you all know usually what you could just do is say something like user should be equal to user and name should be equal to name and age limit this is still gonna work perfectly fine but for now let's just say we want to stick with this this is still gonna work exactly the same way the other one is gonna work so this is the same profile is not defined let's see okay we are not important profile let's make sure we do that so from that models so from that models we want to import profile now the error should be gone okay so with this now we the profile is equal to this now we created a new profile for them so when we've done this now what we want to do is check if the user has a profile so if the user has a profile then we want to request user the profile that's add then we're gonna add the new profile that it created so we're gonna say request dot user dot profile or well, it's I think it should be profiles dot add yeah it should be profiles because over here let's see let's see in the in the profile okay yeah it's it's profiles so we're gonna say request dot user dot profiles dot add then we're gonna add in the new profile that we just created don't worry i'm gonna explain what we're doing over here so when we've done that now the next thing we want to do is simply return render then to the profile add page okay so come over here return render and or rather I sh it shouldn't be render it should be redirect so let's return redirect so i just thought about that now it shouldn't be render it should be redirect so we are redirecting to netflix app pipe profile dash lists let's see if that's what we called it i don't know okay it's lists the profile dash lists okay so return render netflix app profile dash list now let's see if everything is working fine just as we expected so firstly 
um, firstly, we created the form in the forms.py. After creating the form, then we came over to our views.py and defined a variable form. Then we got everything that the user has passed into the form. So why did we actually even create a, a form.py first in the first place? Why did we create a form.py? So whenever you want to get um, like information from a user, you don't want to do it from the back end. Like you want to allow the users to put in the information themselves. Then you need to use a forms.py. For example, let's say you are defining a contact page that would allow users um, like filling their contact information and send you a message. Then you need to use a form.py. That form.py is going to have things like the name of the user, the subject of the message and the message. This is just an example. So we created a form.py and what we want to get from the form is the name and age limits. So you remember that I explained this to you guys, but rather we just want to exclude the UUID field because it's automatically filled in. So that's pretty much what we did. And we got, so what we did was define a variable form. And now we're getting everything that the user passed into the form. Now we define the variable profile and we created a new prof, a new profile with the informations that are passed into the form. So we checked if um, there is profile. So if there is any new profile, what we did is add it to the user that's logged in, we add the profile that they created to their account. So that's what this simply does. Then we simply re redirect them back to the list, to the profile list that plays that's the list out all the pro profiles and all that. Then we'll simply define the context and pass it into the template. It's profile creates the HTML. So what I want to do is create a new um, URL. This is going to be um, profile. It's going to be profile create. I think that's what we called it. Let's say profile create and we're simply going to come over here and change this to profile create just like that. This one too is going to be profile create. Okay. So with this now, let's go and see if this is working fine. Let's see our terminal still running. Let's refresh this still running. So now when we come over to slash profile, let's see when we come over to slash profile dash create. No, 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 no. This should be the via profiles slash create. So when we come over to profiles slash create, what do you notice? It says page not found. Let's say, okay. Let's refresh this again. Okay, it says page not found. Let's see what's going on. Um, profile creates this and this. Let's create a new profile. Let's create a new template over here and call it profile creates the HTML. Because if you remember, this is what we're using over here. Profile creates dot HTML. So, so let's do that. Now, over here in the template, you need to right click, create a new file, and we're going to call it profile creates dot HTML, just like that. Okay, so what we need to do is head over to the templates that we've created. I told you guys already, we've created a template and we're gonna look for the one that says profile creates.html. We're gonna simply copy everything that we've got over here and we need to paste it in this blank space over here. So right now, when we refresh this, we just see some dummy information. Let's see, this is it over here. Now, what we need to do is remove the nav. We already have that in the base.html. And we need to remove these two things over here. So we simply head over to the profile list and we're going to copy this and come over to the profile crates and add it just at the top like that. And we're also going to copy this one and add it just below here like this. And we're going to end block. So now when we refresh this page, what do you notice? It's looking really awesome. So over here now, we already have this form. Let's come over to slash crates. And as you can see, when we come over here and fill in some information and hit creates profile. What do you notice? Nothing happens. And that's because you can see in the URL, it's just choose in whatever we're passing to the form into the URL. For example, we'll pass in name to be, let's say destiny and the maturity level is kids. Now when we create, what do you notice? It passed in the name and the profile name as kids. So what we want to do is actually come back, come back to the form and want to add in a method of post. So we're going to add in method should be post over here. And you know, in Django, whenever we are using the method post, we need to use a CSRF token. So by using the CSRF token, it's not going to throw this in here again. Sorry, by using the method post, it's not going to throw this in here again. And CSRF token is to prevent cross site forgery. So with this now, we need to change up some things over here. For example, the name should be name, like which is this one over here. The profile name should be name. And also the ID should be ID id underscore name just like that and for the age limits the name should be age limit because that's what we called it and the id should be id underscore age underscore 
limit and also for the button we need to add in a type so the type of the button is going to be submit because it we actually want to submit it it's not a link so you should be submit so what we need to do now is get rid of this hard refresh this page and now when we fill in a new user let's say you want to add in um samuel james as the user and his profile is kids now when we click on create profile what do you notice it's working perfectly fine it's created a profile and it redirects back to this page so why did it create the profile and redirects back to this page that's because um over here we said if um there is now a new profile that's created at the profile to the logged in pro user so it's going to add in this new samuel james to the overall user of this page the user that logged into this page it's going to add in the user then this line over here simply redirects them back to this place so you see it redirects back to profile list and profile list is this one over here you see remember this one pro oh why is there two it's the well, the profile list thing let's get rid of one so as you can see there's profile list so that's pretty much why this works the way it is now let's configure this button so when we click on this button it takes us to the create so what we need to do is head back to the profile list and in this button that says add new profile we simply need to change the button to a link so change this to a link make sure that it's still looking as it should be as it should be looking okay so what we need to do is now add in a href so we're gonna add in a href and this is simply gonna go to um, URL and you should go to Netflix app, Netflix app pipe. Um, I think I called it profile dash create. Let's still confirm and see if that's what we call the URL name. So it's profile dash create. Okay, so in the profile list, profile dash create. Okay, I think that's pretty much what we need. Let's go ahead and see if that's working. Okay, so now I will come over to create a new profile. You see it comes over here. Now let's say we want to add in a new user, Flourish Franks, and we hit in all. And what do you notice? It creates a new profile for Flourish Franks. So that's how it's working. And now let's say we want to log out and, and sign up a new user. So let's come over here and let's sign up a new user. And this is the user's email. Now when we sign up, it comes over to the profile, but now there is no user over here. So now let's say I want to add a new profile and let's say the owner of this profile is going to be, um, let's say praise. Let's say it's praise that has this profile. And when we hit create, what do you notice? It creates a new profile for the person praise. And let's say the, um, the owner of this account also has a kid and the name of the kid is baby cap. And for the maturity level, it's kids. Now when you create a new profile, this for baby cap. So hopefully you understand everything that's going on, the, the way we can create profiles, the way we can redirect back, and the way we can call the age limits and all that to specify the user that has the account. So that's pretty much what we'll be doing in this video. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and um, configure the watch. So that's going to be you listing, it, listing out uh, movies for users. So if the user is a kid, if the user is an adult, then we're going to list out movies for them. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, don't forget to drop a like and also to consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section below. If you have any problem, any issues that you couldn't resolve, I'll be there to help you um, debug your problems. So that's it for this video. I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. For now, my love. Peace out.